Well folks, tonight we are going to make one of my favorite uh, pulled pork recipes and that is uh, pulled pork burritos and uh, it's one of my favorites uh, as far as uh, pulled pork, you know, other than pulled pork sandwich. A pulled pork sandwich is one of my two favorite all-time sandwiches. The other being a uh, breaded tenderloin and if you haven't seen that video of how to make one you can catch that right up here. Uh, but I do like that one as well. And uh, But tonight we are going to dig into a, uh, a, a pretty hefty burrito here and uh, I'll show you how we go about that. So follow along, come on. Okay folks, so to begin with, what I've got here is a can of black beans that I've drained. And also, uh, you know, this is near the end of November here. And we don't really have any fresh, pe uh, fresh peaches, uh, no, fresh tomatoes around. Uh, I mean, you can buy some, but I'll tell you around here, we uh, don't do crunchy tomatoes. And uh, so... Really, it's just as good to buy the can as it is the, uh, the uh, quote unquote fresh uh, tomatoes. Um, then I've got me a half of a, a sweet onion here, a couple jalapenos. And jalapenos are probably about my favorite pepper all around. It's got the heat, it's got a good flavor to it, and uh, it ranks right up there with the bell pepper as far as peppers go with me. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to start dicing some of this stuff up. The uh, onion and the pepper here. Doesn't have to be too fine a dice on the uh, onion. Now, in the, if you want to go at it the uh, short and easy way, what I would do is uh, skip some of this, skip the tomatoes, skip the onion, um, maybe skip the pepper, depending upon um, depending upon um, how hot my salsa was, but. You can do all the same thing with some salsa on top of your burrito. However, it would um, be a little more runny due to the tomato, uh, to the salsa being juicy. Um, also, you could substitute refried beans rather than the black beans, but I found that I like the black beans. That's just personal preference. Okay, so there we go. That's a pretty good dice on these jalapenos. If you don't want your jalapenos so hot, remove the, uh, you cut them down the middle or cut them into quarters uh, lengthwise, and then you um, just kind of, well, put those right in there. Uh, then you um, remove the seeds, just similar to like you would do with a bell pepper. And that will take some of the heat because a lot of the heat is in the membrane and the seeds. Personally, I like the full meal deal on the jalapenos, but 
to each their own. And I put those right in there with my onions because what I don't use in burritos I will turn around and use in um, eggs tomorrow morning maybe. Alright, so there we go, we got that. It's time to get our meat and things ready here. Okay folks, so let me talk about my pulled pork here for a minute. Now this is smoked pulled pork. This is a barbecue place around here. And uh, I've always got pulled pork in the freezer or the refrigerator. And uh, so that's what I've done. I've taken some of this out of the freezer and uh, I've thawed it out. But then I've gone ahead and I've warmed it up a little bit. Um, it's not hot, but it's warm. Warmer than, certainly warmer than refrigerator. And um, so it's smoked, but you could easily use leftover pork roast for this. Now, if I was going to do that, if I was going to use leftover pork roast, I might want to sprinkle some uh, tacos, some of my favorite taco seasoning on it. But I'm going to do something a little different here today, tonight. And first thing I'm going to do is take some of this pulled pork and just go right down the center of my, my burrito. Or my, yeah, it's a burrito sized tortilla here is what it is. Like so. And I personally like my favorite um, Creole seasoning. I'm just going to give that a little sprinkle like that. And that's plenty, I think. Take some of my beans. Right on top, like so. You don't want to get too crazy or you're not going to be able to wrap up your burrito here in a minute. we got a lot of things to go here yet. Tomato like that. Tomato and or tomato, onion and pepper. Like that. Then we're going to get some uh, Mexican blend cheese here. Go right down the top like that. And then because I thought I went a little light on the uh, jalapeno peppers, I'm going to go just a little more. Because I really do like my jalapeno peppers. Start at the bottom, fold up, fold one side over, fold the other side over. Then, I'm going to set that to the side while I make another one real quick. Okay, so we're going to take our two burritos over here. I'm going to get my uh, skillet preheating. I'll be right with you. Okay, so the heat coming off my skillet here. I got a medium low um, heat under here. I'm going to take both my burritos and in this case I'm going to set them so the openings are against each other. You can hear a little sizzle going there. I did spray the inside of my skillet lightly. I'm going to let those go three or four minutes. Later that same evening. Alright, I guess I spent about three minutes. Now, not only is this going to give your tortillas a nice brown to them like so, what it's going to do, and it's also going to heat up the, you know, the ingredients in the burrito itself, but it's also going to kind of lock your tortilla into place. Basically, your tortilla will harden and not try to flop open on you if you're setting it on plate. If you're making, say, maybe you're making half a dozen of these for the family, you'll be able to set them on the plate and not worry about them trying to fold out open on you. A few moments late. Okay, folks, so there's our burritos done and ready after about three minutes. 
We lost just a little bit of stuff out of them off the open end of the burrito, but that's not too bad. I think we can live with this. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these burritos. Cut it. Just like so. I gotta get me that picture, or it didn't happen. Something away. Take a picture, or it never happened. They say. All right, folks. It is that time again. The happy time, actually. If you know what I mean. Okay, folks. Well, you just saw this. And you could do this with a beef um, a beef roast. Maybe leftover roast. Uh, beef roast. You could do this. And uh, totally have a different flavor. A different, a whole different uh, aspect or whatever you want to say to your roast that you may have had last night or the night before. And won't even taste anything close to say, to the same, and uh, keep people happy. Now then, it's that time. Mm -hmm. That's right on, folks. You just saw how easy this was. Maybe took a half hour total. Um, most including all the prep time for the uh, you know the onions and the peppers and all that kind of stuff excellent weeknight meal right here leftovers from the weekend there you go folks do me a favor if you like what you're seeing down here in the bottom right hand corner hit like and subscribe and stay tuned there's always more to come thanks for watching